Kefir made at home is so much more healthy than the kefir you buy in the store with added thickening agents and preservatives. Kefir's a fermented milk drink and since I love nutrition, I'm always exploring new things I can make at home and I really wanted to share this with you. <laughs> Hummingbirds are playing. So these are the kefir grains that were sitting in milk and they fermented the milk into this wonderful, delicious kefir. And every other day I'm straining these grains and making a new batch. So this is a potent source of probiotics and even more potent than yogurt.
tired of doing farm work. I'm sick and tired of doing farm work. Not only is kefir very easy to make at home, it has all these amazing benefits and it's low in lactose, so people that are lactose intolerant can actually handle drinking this and it can improve digestive concerns and it's amazing for bone health with calcium and vitamin K2 and just possessing many more wonderful benefits. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. They are tiny. I never was one to drink milk every day. I did find that it bothered my stomach at times, and I've been having this homemade kefir now for two months every day, and I just feel wonderful. I love it. Uh, I only have about an eight ounce glass, and lately I've been putting it into my oatmeal and I can't wait to get goat milk so I can make goat milk kefir. But it is delicious, it's nutritious, and highly sustainable. It's just um, a wonderful fermented food to add to your diet.
There are two types of kefir that you can make, and one is with milk, and the other is with water, made from a sugary water or coconut water. And basically, the process, the end result is both with kombucha and kefir, is they're very low in sugar because the live active yeast essentially eats the sugars that are naturally present or added. It's just a real interesting ancient food. So we 